There's a couple things with declumping we'll talk about real fast because you guys want to hear about declumping. So let's do this. So let's say my deck. Let's say my deck. Uh, give me like a stack of energy to work with here. Okay. Let's put these here. Let's say I sufficiently shuffle my deck. We just talked about shuffling, right? So let's say I sufficiently, uh, uh, sufficiently, sufficiently. Let's say I sufficiently shuffled my deck, right? Oh, I got like my prize cards are over here. Okay, let's just give me three. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Got my active Pokemon. Then I play a quick ball, right? And I go to search through my deck for the first. Let's say it doesn't have to be the first time. I could be in the middle of the game, actually. So I go to search through my deck in the middle of the game, right? And I'm looking through my deck. I'm like, okay, okay, what am I going to get? So I'm going to get this. So let's say I'm going to get this. So I pull this to the front. I just want to check the rest of my deck. And I see this. All three of my rare candies are all stacked on the top of, top of each other. I'm like, hmm, I don't like this. That's kind of sus. And then I go further. And then I see, oh my God, all three of my V-Star markers in my deck are stacked on top of each other. Stacked on top of each other. I don't like this. This is sus, man. It makes me feel bad. And then I'm going to go get this lighting energy off my quick ball. And I go back through. I'm like, I don't know, man. I just don't like the way this looks. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to just going to spread these out. I'm just going to spread these out. And then go over here. My V-Star markers in my deck. Dude, I can't have that. That looks bad. I'm going to spread them out as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take my lightning energy. And then I turn my deck over. And then I still suffi sufficiently shuffle, you know, seven times, right? I still shuffle seven times. Seven mashes. I've done more than seven now. Offer to my opponent to cut. My opponent cuts. And I'm like, okay, I feel better because I know there's not a bunch of my cards that I want stacked on top of each other like that. And if they're all on the bottom of the deck now, or if, if I draw to three V-Star markers, that's going to suck. And then whatever. I, I quick ball for a Crobat, and then I Crobat for six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I draw my six cards, whatever, right? Ooh, one rare candy, one thing. So now deep clumping, I sufficiently shuffled after. I didn't actually uh, mean for this to happen, but it did. Um, so I, de I declumped my deck. Um, and declumping isn't illegal in Pokemon, but there's no reason to do it because if you sufficiently shuffle your deck afterwards, seven riffles, mashes, whatever, if you have less cards in your deck, maybe you can do a little bit less. Like if you have 10 cards left in your deck or 15 cards left in your deck, maybe do five riffles or mashes, whatever. I think that's reasonable. If uh, anyone disagrees with that, let me know. Let me know why. Would definitely love to know. Um, it's not going to increase the odds. It's not going to change the odds of the three rare candy and the three V-Star markers being stacked on top of each other in the deck. It doesn't change that. Because you still have to sufficiently remember. If you sufficiently shuffle your deck, they could all still be together. Or if you sufficiently shuffle your deck, they could all be separate. But it doesn't actually change anything. And if you separate them and then you still sufficiently shuffle your deck, they could be all back stacked on top of each other. It doesn't change anything. Um, in the order of, of randomness, it doesn't change anything. So it's not that declumping is illegal. It's that you shouldn't do it because it looks like you might be cheating because it doesn't actually change something being... Look, look two of my rare candies are back together. It doesn't change the, the chance of something being sufficiently shuffled. Uh, if you declump, it doesn't make your deck more random. Um, and if you don't sufficiently randomize afterwards, then it is an insufficient shuffle. Your deck is insufficiently randomized because you organized some cards beforehand uh, and then it's didn't sufficiently shuffle. So at that point... Um, I don't want to call it cheating, but like, because you, if you don't have intent of doing that, you just declumped. So most people do the declumping for peace of mind. They're not doing it maliciously to cheat, but it's still just a waste of time because it doesn't actually change the random outcome of the deck. Declumping just means absolutely nothing. Um, so you just shouldn't declump because it doesn't do anything. It not, doesn't mean that your three V-Star markers and your three rare candies might not be all stacked on top of each other because after you sufficiently shuffle, they could all be there if they could not. So just don't declump because it makes no sense. Now, the other thing that kind of comes up is when people go to check their prize cards, some people will do this, where they'll put all of one type of card in front of their deck while they simultaneously move all, all of one type of card to the back of the deck. And this is like, I just call it the Bradner prize check because that's what Bradner is most known for it, or Moffat does it too a lot. So, and I do it as well. So, um, I don't do it with every deck though. I didn't do it with Sable Star because I felt like checking my prize cards with Sable Star was super easy just to do on one pass through or two pass through. So I didn't do it with Sable Star at UIC, but I do it depending on the deck. Like with Lost Box, like Mirage Gate Lost Box, knowing all your energy and what's prize is like the number one most important thing in the deck. And there's like a bunch of other things that are important with Lo like Mirage Gate Lost Box. So I did it when I played Mirage Gate Lost Box. So you do this, you bring, let's say, all your Pokemon to the front of the deck, all your energy to the back. And then what I do is when I pass through while I do that, I also count other stuff. So it's like I'm doing a pass through, pulling Pokemon to the front, energy to the back, and then I count other things, like how many grass energy are in here. One, two, three, four. Maybe I play five grass energy. Oh, there's a grass energy prize, so I knew that. And then I check my Pokemon. Well, there's only three V-Star markers here, so I prize the V-Star marker, so there's one of those prize. Check this real fast. Only three rare candy here, so I prize the rare candy. And then maybe do another pass through and check like one or two other important cards. Try and find all six prize cards if possible. Um, but of course, you have to be somewhat time efficient. And that's why that is like the most time efficient way to check prize cards that I have found. Um, and it seems like most people agree because that's how they do it. So that people don't do this to waste time or to um, uh, be malicious with like time management or whatever, or time manipulation. They do it because it's like the most efficient way to check your prize card. So that's why people do that. 
um, and it does clump your deck, but they're just trying to be time efficient. And there's, and this is the only reason to ever clump or declump your deck because it's leads, it leads to you trying to be more time efficient is the point of it. Now, whether or not, the question is not whether or not, um, the question isn't whether or not you should be allowed to clump or declump your deck. It's just like, does this take too much time to do? Just checking for all six year prize cards thoroughly just take too much time that's the question it shouldn't be on whether or not this is legal or illegal because if i just turn over my deck and then sufficiently shuffle it doesn't matter that they were clumped to begin with or not theoretically right so it doesn't matter that i clumped my cards in the front and the back like if i sufficiently like you know if i just go here riffle seven uh ten times real fast uh or mash then my deck is, is random again doesn't matter doesn't matter that i stacked them right that doesn't matter um but uh the question is just like should people be allowed just enough time on average to actually check for all six of their prize cards? If someone can do it in like 20 seconds and check all six of their prize cards, then there's never going to be a problem with that person. But if someone's taking like a minute 30 to check all six of their prize cards, that's the that's the question that should be asked. Is like that is that just too much time in general? And it's not should this specifically shouldn't be banned unless you're going to ban all clumping and clump declumping and clumping, which I wouldn't be against. If you banned all clumping and declumping in the Pokemon TCG, I wouldn't be against it. If they did that and said you can't do this anymore because of that, you're banning declumping and clumping, but not just banning this specifically to check prize cards like this specifically to check prize cards doing it like this shouldn't be banned but the question of whether or not it just takes too much time to find all six prize cards is reasonable and then also the question of um should all declumping and clumping be banned is also a reasonable question as well but this specifically this specific method to check prize cards shouldn't be banned like this individually shouldn't be banned because it's not there's nothing malicious about it you're just doing it to be the as 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 time efficiently checking your prize cards as possible is the is the reason you do this you're just trying to be as time efficient when checking your prize cards as possible and you just shuffle it back up and you're good to go um but the question should be like i said the question to reiterate again the question should not be should that be banned but should clumping and decomping in general be banned and then also should uh what's the other thing i was gonna say should clumping and decomping in general be banned and then should checking like all six of your prize cards um should checking all six of your prize cards be banned as well? That's the question to ask. Not should that specific method of checking your prize cards be banned? Just those two things separately. Should those be banned? Should be should the amount of time that it takes to find all six prize cards? Should we crack down on that and be like, you have 60 seconds on your first search? We'll give you a little bit of extra time, but not too much extra time. You probably can't find all six consistently with 60 seconds, but you know you can get maybe three, four, whatever. Uh, and then throughout the rest of your searches in future, with throughout the rest of your searches in this turn or future turns, you can try and piece the rest of it together there, but we're not going to give you as much time on that initial search, or maybe you should give no extra time on the initial search. And if they did that, I would be fine with that. If they were like, you still have just like 20 seconds, 15 seconds to check, uh, check your deck on your search. Um, and it can make it a little bit harder to piece together your prize cards, which would kind of suck. And at that point I would be okay if everyone looking at, at the beginning of their prize card to be a game, but as long as they're lenient with the time constraints on the first search of a game, and it'll give you a little bit more time to check your prize cards. Um, then I I think you should be allowed to or then then i'm I, then I don't agree with the uh everyone looking at their prize cards at the beginning of the game to check their uh to check their prize cards check their prize cards at the beginning of each game real fast to just write them down and then go from there but if they are going to be like you only have 15 seconds then i would be uh comfortable with that because like then there's like no real advantage to gain from not doing it 